All right, YouTube, 106 Falconer, back with another freaking exciting video. It's uh, March uh, 25th, 2024. Anyways, I got to put my freaking winch on my tractor. Generally, I don't put this on till we're usually still frozen this time of year, but this winter's really sucked. Anyways, I was out trying to get some firewood last night with my... With my uh, trailer there I had the stakes in it had it had the wood triple stacked strapped down bit off a little more than I could chew apparently and coming back out from the woods I hit a mud hole and uh, it did not like it it uh, my, my tractor the the front cleared the mud hole but the uh, the back just sunk right down in almost almost right up to uh almost right up to the hitch here and then my my trailer over there the uh the right side of the trailer sunk down to the bed of the trailer in the mud i mean it, it sucked it right down in there um luckily my friend joe was with me um we had to unload the trailer unhook it pry it loose from the uh suction of the mud and get that out of the way and then worked on getting the tractor out because i still got my plow on there as you can see it took us like an hour and a half to get this freaking tractor unstuck so then i had to i came back with uh with like uh one layer of wood in there so the rest is still sitting out back there which i gotta go get but i'm gonna get my winch on so that uh so i don't run into that problem because if i would have had my winch on yesterday I could have, I, I couldn't do a straight winch. I, I doubt that would have worked. It's a uh, Badlands ZXR 2500. Nice little winch, but but um, if uh, if I would have, uh, um, what the hell am I trying to say here? If uh, <laughs> I'm drawing a fucking blank now. Well, anyways. If I would have rigged up my pulley, you know, and went back, I I could have I could have uh, winched myself out. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure with the uh, with the trailer and everything, I could have. Uh, what in the motherfucking hell am I trying to say? Holy shit! What is that split pulley? It's freaking! I just blanked. Um, oh, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've ever done any winching. So, uh, holy shit, man. I just turned 60 a few days ago, and now my fucking brain's going. Anyways, so I know I've shown this winch before on videos, but I figured I'd just go over it since it's sitting out. You know, it's not, it's not uh, you know, mounted to the tractor yet. So, of course, like I said, it's a Badlands ZXR 2500. Um, what I did is I got a piece of 6 by 3 and a half quarter inch, quarter inch angle right there. Um then this here is a piece of four by three and a half three sixteenths angle that i put on there now now this angle is i the only reason i, I put that on to to uh, protect the control box if i'm out back in the woods i didn't want anything to knock this thing off um in addition to that um oh this is gonna drive me up a fucking wall um I, I mounted or I mounted a uh, a receiver hitch on the bottom right there so that I can put in like like here I can I can run this run this D ring shackle in there if I want to um, oh for the love of God you know what I'm trying to say run a chain around a tree. Run the winch around the pulley, back to the tractor. What the? <laughs> this is blowing my freaking mind. Anyways, whatever. It'll come to me. <clears throat> or, you know, I could put, uh, like, I got a drop hitch. If I want to uh, push the tractor from the, push the trailer from the front, which uh, front trailer is the best way to go. Um, so I was just going to go over showing you, showing you how I made this. Um, I mounted up, I got four uh, uh, grade six uh, bolts, three quarter heads, three quarter nuts, 
Um, and that, that just mounts on the front here. I had to drill out a couple holes on the bottom. Uh, and then when you take your, you got that plastic piece on here, we take that off, you got to cut off because when they, when they weld this frame up, they wrap around a little piece of excess metal. So I cut that off. It's not welded on there or anything. It's just hanging there. So I cut that off. Um, then, just a second here. All right, I'm back. Jeez, if, fuck. Snatch block. Damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> I, could, I could have snatch blocked my way out. I don't think I could have done a straight pull, but I could have done a snatch block pull. I, I think just one snatch block would have worked. Anyways, so there we go. Got that off my freaking mind. Um, so anyways, like I said, just cut that off there. I was thinking about running some bolts through here, but, I mean, that weld's pretty good. And, I mean, regardless if, I mean, because that, that's going all the way back. and So if you got enough torque in there to rip that off, then, uh, yeah, that's a little too much. Anyways, so, so let me move this over someplace else so I can flip it over, show you that receiver hitch on there and, and whatnot uh, so I don't, break the hood of my tractor anymore i mean she's a 2006 uh but a brand new she looks a little rough but i'll tell you what man this tractor is a freaking little workhorse man so let me move that and i'll be right back all right so here we are on the underside this uh this receiver plate whatever um what i did is i, I took the angle iron i figured out where where i wanted the uh the winch then I uh, got to put the receiver plate on. Um, let's see, I put the receiver plate on because then what I had to do, because I wanted that under the, uh, I wanted it under the uh, spool of the of the winch. Then I got the uh, so I, I welded it on. I think I was drunk when I did that, but whatever, it holds. Um, then I then I welded on the the plate for the uh, uh, freaking wire roller right there. Welded that on. Then I then I drilled through for the for the winch mount. Now this twenty five hundred only has two two uh, two bolts through there. Then I got some little grade eights. I let's see. Okay, prior prior to welding this on, I marked where I was going to be, and then I drilled. I don't know if you can see. No, that's no, that's what I did. You see, I, I, I drilled through here. So I drilled two, whatever these are, five eighths, eleven sixteenths holes, whatever. Um, through the receiver top bottom and top and then I got some little little shorty grade 8 bolts put it down through and then nutted them on let's see where we are here see you can see the nuts anyways so I got them on wait a minute it looks like I cut yeah I may have uh, I may have cut the the bolts down to fit but anyways, whatever, regardless. So you can you can slide your freaking your your freaking uh, your hitch in there, and you, you got no no bolts or nuts to get in the way. Then with uh, then with the mounting plate here, which I'm pretty sure I bought at Harbor Freight because I think you can buy the exact same one on Amazon. It was like two or three times the money on Amazon. But anyways, so then I was able to then I was able to to mount the winch. Um, the control box, I welded this piece on, like I say, to just keep from shit hitting the control box. And then I just drilled through there, drilled through there, and you know I, I went through I went through both both layers of steel on this front, and then just the one on the back. Um, then I ran. Uh, these quick connects 
here to to power the winch i got them screwed in with some uh uh whatever the hell these things are called um so basically that's it uh just bolted up to the fr to the front of the front of the freaking tractor now the tractor itself this one here is is uh this one is wired directly into the battery but i got that all secure all the way through so that i just when i once i mount the winch up i just plug it in i'm gonna squirt some wd in there um and then you're ready to roll now i've never used the the uh wired controller for this i've only ever used the uh the, the Bluetooth controller. Freaking works awesome. I mean, you, you can stand back like 30 feet and still control your winch. So so let me get this mounted up, and uh, we'll take a look at it when she's all done. All right, that bitch, see you in a minute. All right, well, there she is, mounted up. Working good. Um, connected there. Then I, then I put a zip tie around there just to make sure that don't lose connection there broke up my uh badlands freaking off-road jack jacked the front end up took the opportunity to grease up the kingpins and then uh and then underneath the uh the axle there so front end's all greased up um the uh the winch is sounding a little squeaky but i'm using the uh the bluetooth me uh I'll, I'll have to uh I'll have to do some uh full stress to her get her get her lube back up there but anyways whatever regardless works works fine this little freaking uh Milwaukee 3 8 impact uh, M12 series. Uh, this junior to seconds. Got the little battery in there. That son of a bitch is nice. I'm going to get one, but uh, I'm going to do the half inch mid torque because these, these things are freaking incredible. Anyways, whatever. So there you go. So I recommend everybody get one of these if you use your tractor like a, tra if you use your garden tractor like a freaking real tractor. All right, that's it. See y'all, bitches.